and Benson. Uh, today I will introduce my culture and identity project. My topic of my research is Aboriginal rock art. Aboriginal rock art is the oldest form of indigenous Australian art with the earliest samples discovered in Ireland, dating back around 28,000 years. Indigenous people created the Australian rock painting. Their religion believes in the concepts of life and death in their spiritual world are fully displayed in the rock paintings. Uh, in 1970s, people has admitted that this is one of the richest and the largest galleries of rock art globally. Rock art is an expression of cultural pride and relation to the land for the indigenous people. Since Aboriginal Australians lack a writing language, they relied on symbols, icons, and artwork to communicate their knowledge of Abor Aboriginal land events and values, as well as important cultural stories. In terms of production, the colors for a traditional rock painting, like most indigenous rock art, were ground from natural pigments. Unfortunately, most, most of the paints used uh, water soluble, and uh, consequently the majority of Aboriginal rock art which was never meant to be a permanent, was washed away by the driving rain. It is possible that people hundreds of years later will, ne will not be able to see most of the rock paintings, let alone know how they were made. Rock art is a long-standing fact because rock art is a record of the way Aboriginal people live and think and it is very important for people in Australia today to promote this art form. The first case is a clothing brand called uh, Mypo Ghost. It extracts the various effective visual elements from the rock art to design clothing. In fact, according to the Australia Aboriginal people, there is no writing language, so they use symbols in artwork to convey their important culture and story. In Mapogos, a, a platform was established to spread the indigenous culture. Both uh, platform creator and user can benefit from the deep understanding of uh, Aboriginal history and uh, connection with uh, their cultures. Uh, the second case is different. The creator are children. By learning the excellent Australia indigenous arts culture, it helps children understand the history and form a strong cultural identity. In addition, these children have not received lots of uh, training in art techniques, so that uh, their creations are close to those of Aboriginal people. The end user of my project are indigenous or non-indigenous people who are interested in the Aboriginal culture. In the world, uh, indigenous Australians are recognized as the representative of rich culture. They are recognized as the valuable knowledge and opinions, and as people of the oldest culture surviving to share with the world. So I'm going to hold a exhibition of rock art at the Art Gallery of New South Wales in Sydney to let people in the city understand the parts of this culture. Um, my design contents include logo, posters, banner, exhibition interior design, and uh, organizing inter uh, interactive activities. In terms of exhibition logo design, while designing the font, uh, Aboriginal rock art the dream tower. I want to show that the the typeface is uh, carved out of stone, with the primitive feeling. Uh, you can see that, and uh, I extracted the icon of uh, Aboriginal hunting from uh, Aboriginal uh, rock painting picture, and uh, 
also I want to combine uh, rocks uh, indigenous uh, icon and the uh, same typeface to design the exhibition logo it could be a, a combination of these elements this is the final logo design because it is an exhibition with the theme of rock arts so all elements are derived from the rock painting uh, the design can directly highlight the theme in the color selection i extract the color in rock art when it comes to australian symbols the kangaroo is hard to beat the classical rock uh, painting has been discovered to be the subject of australia oldest known rock art so my, my vision of the poster is like the highlighting the pattern of the earliest rock painting the post design contains the scene you can see and the time, location, introduction of the exhibition, and the uh, website information. Uh, you can see the effect. The first is that the poster displays at the bus stop, uh, and the poster displays on social media. Art gallery of New South Wales is green. I designed the advertising banner for the exhibition. I designed it with Aboriginal painting as the background. I hope the banner can be placed in the billboard of the river station because there are lots of people in the station. Uh, this is the design of the exhibition in the art gallery of New South Wales. At the narrow entrance, I prevented the earliest uh, physical display of rock art paintings model which could attract audience the content displayed at the entrance including name and time of exhibition the history of the rock art and the introduction of the indigenous symbols the listing of this information can allow audience who have no knowledge of the original cultures to learn very quickly uh, the second design uh, near the exhibition entrance, the first place is a rock art do uh, documentary screen uh, screening room. The largest screen will show the documentaries on rock art explosions. And you can see uh, the three uh, screen on the uh, ground, uh, how to draw the uh, with the traditional tools around the screen and the type and meanings of the rock uh, paintings. This is the design of the rock art exhibition area. You can see uh, the picture I made. Uh, high solution rock art uh, pictures will be displayed on the front. Below, you can see uh, the photo is a rock art model made by traditional methods. Uh, this allows the audience to understand the rock painting in multiple uh, dimensions. So interactive activities will be organized in the exhibitions. Uh, first, Aboriginal artists will use uh, traditional painting tools to display the traditional rock paintings in exhibition. Uh, second, uh, children have opportunity to try rock painting uh, and use the traditional painting uh, tools uh, at the exhibition.